So we'll see. <laughs> I I think he prefers uh, medium. So oh, and the uh, Stitch Hat is coming out. So all right. Where? <laughs> so it looks like Swong on medium, DM Hero on high speed. And we have a ready from both players. So off we go in this first match. Let's see where this will take them. And also playing different songs. DM Hero on Fever, Swung on Chill. Oh, we're not going to be able to hear that on stream. But uh, what we can hear is uh, the lovely commentary from myself and John Nashforth as we start this uh, 6 versus 11. And good boards from both players. Uh, I would say a little bit more favorable for DM Hero, but just by a touch. Yeah, I think DM Hero has more chance of uh, using different uh, pills, just uh, maneuvering around the, the viruses that are very uh, split on, on the board, but uh, split in the, in the ropes, not so much uh, column-wise. Uh, Swong had a bit of a misdrop, but it corrected it with a great underclear, uh, but then misflipped that blue-red over in column three, and he knew it. Oh, you hate seeing that. Uh, he's got 11 viruses and a bit of a lead, so not too much to worry about. Uh, although it looks like the uh, opportunity to really extend that lead looks like it may dwindle as uh, Swong does get the uh, zero drop clear. One virus and that garbage uh, down to seven. DM Hero down to nine. Uh, but John, uh, looking at these boards, I was going to say it was a little bit more favorable for Swong, but that was a great uh, fat log that we just saw from uh, DM Hero. I mean, both players just uh, bring in uh, great uh, maneuvers just to get rid of uh, their pills. Their song didn't even have to get rid of the garbage to get out of level 6 at 123. And, and uh, one, Dim Hero right behind. 127, these players neck and neck going into round number 7. Uh, they got to clear 32 viruses to advance to the next stage here. And uh, both players off to a good start. Uh, good drop combo from DM Hero, uh, but he, that does cause him to split the board just a little bit. Uh, but manages to tuck in a nice horizontal clear. He's down to 25 and has the slight lead as we approach two minutes. Yeah, I think uh, the M hero should be focusing on that left side, given that the, in the right side, though, there are some clumps of viruses. It's really just uh, a couple of colors, so that can be dealt with very quickly. Absolutely. And well, so I'm waiting for the right pills to start uh, bringing that top line down. Uh, I think he's opening it to have more diversity. There we go. Oh, another mislip. I think his controller has been acting up. Uh, I've seen in some of his streams that uh, this seems to be a, 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 a something that happens usually. So it might be the controller, really. Uh, what we are seeing from Swong, though, even with those uh, potential misplays, are some really good recoveries. But DM Hero maintaining a three virus lead uh, has a bit of a situation with garbage uh that that double yellow kind of just staring him in the face out there in column three as swung with a very very nice tuck play uh looks like he's gonna go horizontal on that blue in row number two so has everything free and clear uh and he is just making some very precise uh tactical plays uh, to start setting up things underneath. I really like what he's doing here, uh, despite DM Hero now opening his board back up. And it looks like he'll be out of seven as Swong drops that double blue. Oof. That's going to paralyze that left side. Uh, okay, well, that double blue should clear it up. Uh, perfect timing uh, there. <laughs> DM Hero with a bit of a thatched board. Uh, a lot of one-drop clears uh, that's sloping from right to left. Uh, looks like he's decided to open the board right in the middle. That's the good call. Uh, you don't want to get focused on one side or the other too much when you're opening up on these slope boards. Uh, doing a fantastic job here. Opening up a lot of reds in the corner or in the center of his board, too, if he can really get things going. Uh, speaking of reds, it looks like that's all Swong needs. He needs uh, five of them, and now he just needs two of or three of them to get that last red. And he's, he's a bit miffed that it's just not falling his way, but he's going to get out. Uh, but DM Hero has absolutely gone to town on eight. Uh, it is almost a half of a level lead right now as we get into eight for Swamp. 
And I was just uh, looking at the hero's board, uh, hoping that he would just drop that left scythe, and uh, that's exactly what he prioritized. He uh, noticing that that's the the complicated part, and that's going to paralyze your board. So, yeah, have a good uh, good awareness by the hero on, on what uh, part of the board is the most important. DM hero really good at that. Uh what I like to call bracketing, where you set up a bit of garbage off the edge of a, a floating pill high up, and what you're trying to do is you're trying to clear the garbage to drop colors onto the actual virus and get the clear that way. It minim it's it's a bit minimal of a drop time as you're only dropping things a couple of rows as opposed to dropping your garbage off of a high high elevation clear. Uh, but at the five minute mark, DM Hero out of level eight and uh, firmly in the driver's seat as uh, it's about a dozen viruses to go for Swamp as uh, we are almost at five and a half minutes here in this first game. Yeah, that bracketing you mentioned, that's a good strat. For example, if you have one color that uh, there's not a lot of availability for you to clear viruses, you can use that precisely as a color you can just uh, dismiss and use it to get a much lower drop time. Playing those early levels, uh, especially if you ever want to practice that technique, that's the best place to do it uh, because that's really how you have to efficiently clear those early levels. Uh, but meanwhile, it's Swong having torching through the rest of this eight, uh, just needing to get that red. Oh, and he misflipped it unless he's going for uh, the blue. He's going to drill down. I think that's the smart play. Uh, as we approach six minutes, though, it does look like this one's going to be out of reach, John, as uh, at 6.05, uh, a full minute and change behind uh, the 11 seed right now. Yeah, DM Hero, more than uh, half a board uh, in front of uh, Swung right now. So, yeah, it's getting very difficult, and I don't think that uh, something strange will happen. So it seems like DM Hero has this first match already secured. I think his game plan is probably going to uh, get the horizontal clear as he does right there. Uh, and that double blue pretty much seals the deal. Uh, DM Hero will be out of this at a 636. Great time for DM Hero. Uh, he will take game one. And uh, Swan Strong uh, still has a little bit more to play for. Yeah, it's not over. It's only game one. Uh, Swang realizing that uh, the M here already uh, has finished. So yeah, he's going to take the top out. But a very close first game uh, through a level and a half, and then just a couple of critical misflips on Swang's part. Uh, you just got to take a deep breath, get it out of your mind, and and come back stronger in the second game. Yeah, you have to just like uh, let go of what happened. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's the past. Uh, just uh, bring it on the second game. All right, we have readies for and GGs from both players. Our, our predictions, by the way, uh, seventy-one percent of the channel points went to uh, DM Hero, and uh, twenty-nine percent of them to Swong. Uh, Cupcake Frosting Sprinkles put two thousand on Swong, and Dave Smith with four thousand on DM Hero. Uh, overall, about 12,700 points on the line, and both of our players off here, and really, really unorthodox boards. Uh, nothing on the bottom row for DM Hero, and he misdrops that double red to boot. Um, a bit of a, slip, a, a split board for Swong, but a, a very speed-friendly board as he barely gets that uh, tuck to uh, get a combo drop. Yeah, that's what that's what I was going to mention. Uh, Swang has a lot of double uh, chances in in his board, and he's already cleared most of them. So yeah, this is a pretty nice uh, board to start with for Swang. If if you're a speed player, this is like Christmas or whatever happens holiday you happen to celebrate in December. Uh, but I think there Swang... was a little bit of a misdrop there by Swang on that uh, fourth column, but he's trying to work it from below. It's it's manageable because he could still work uh, and get that uh, the double yellow, uh, and that looks like that may be the play. He's gonna elect to take some drop time here, and uh, he'll just need uh, his reds. And I like this I like this play, especially with that double red. Boom! He's gonna be out at a minute ten. Oh, oh. What a fantastic time from Swong, uh, DM Hero, trying to uh, work on some uh, misplays and garbage on his side of the board as uh, we approach the 92nd mark. Uh, a bit of a struggle here, 
uh, and does a quick course correction as he saw that he can make a play with this next pill a little bit more efficiently. It's always important to keep an eye on that next pill, John. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we try to play uh, with the next pill as well, just uh, trying to adapt our positioning. If uh, if the next pill uh, is better uh, suited for another play, then uh, it, it's an important skill to just uh, be able to maneuver and, uh, and, and, and change your plans uh, on the spot. And Swong having a heck of a time here as well. A little bit of garbage on his board, but nothing too rough as he's going to get an L and drop that into another another clear. <laughs> Excellent combo Beautiful. and knocks out another one. Uh, he's down to a dozen viruses, holding a 19 virus lead on DM Hero. Two and a half minutes almost into this match. Uh, and that might have been a bit of a misplay. He might he should have dropped oh. that uh, double yellow down. Could have gotten the double clear. Elected not to. Uh, and yeah, I, I mean, I think uh, he, he had one plan and then that uh, double, he didn't see that he could just uh, put it flat and go down. But uh, it's not uh, affecting him too much. It's a pretty clean board right now for Swong. And as soon as he clears this blue out in column six, he will be free and clear. Uh, so he's got that double cleared out. Can't really... He could also make the uh, double or the horizontal clear. Probably not wise, as that would pile a little bit more garbage on. DM Hero storming back down only by uh, about a dozen, uh, but it'll be a 309 out of seven uh, for Swan Strong right now. Absolutely blazing through this second game. Looks like he got a lot of confidence back. Yeah, I mean, DM Hero is making quick work of this level seven as well. So trying to, to just shorten the advantage that. Uh that Swong has on, on level 6, and uh, right now a, a little precarious of a situation as everything is on the left side for DM Hero, but uh, trying to get the right pill so things can start moving again. Swong had an opportunity for a one pill triple uh, with some with those reds that you see out on row number 4. D elected to uh, go for a different play. Looks like his board's starting to bunch up a bit, but a great drop play uh, puts him back in, and he's gonna he's not going to avoid that triple. Uh, that that one is right out. Uh, but now Swan's problem is his blue is there, but not very accessible. Yeah, and I was seeing those two blues uh, on row one, uh, and and the double that he got earlier. And I was thinking it might be possible to swim a blue all the way from the right side, but a very uh, risky play there, which I I get why no one would go for it except me in my in my imagination. And Swan going for that triple, but now really has a rough situation. Taking a look at DM Hero's board, as he's only 15 off, uh, he's got an almost exclusively yellow top line. And again, he's just getting large bubbles at the bottom of his board, uh, which is going to be helpful for his end game. But to trying to get to that point uh, makes things a challenge, as uh, he is also playing high speed, so the pills lock down just a little bit faster. Yeah, it's uh, it's much more difficult to do this tricky place in in high speed, but uh, yeah, it, it it's really dependent on how players uh, feel about it. Sometimes you want that uh, extra speed to just uh, make it uh, so you don't have to press down so much and just uh, can let the the pills move naturally. Sometimes you do want more maneuverability. So yeah, it's it, it's up to the player to decide what's what's better suited for their style. Swong's got a great board right now. He just needs to clear that blue garbage and he'll be free and clear. But meanwhile, DM Hero has taken this opportunity to come back. Swong going to get the clear at 539. Uh, he is up by a handful of viruses. Is DM Hero trying to get out of uh, level 8? He's very, very close uh, and has a great, great setup to get out. He, a blue-red would be optimal. Uh, but I think he'll take whatever he can get and he will be down to his last pill. And as he tucks that, he's out at 557. Oh. And a bit of a misplay uh, by Swong uh, out in columns three and four. Yeah, and that's a big misplay because it's paralyzing that left side. And okay, managing to clear it out, but uh, misusing some blue reds that would have been very nice to start working on that left side. 
and that cost him some time, but he's managed to come back from it beautifully as he extended that lead back up to 14 at one point. A great tuck tuck combo there, zero drop, and nothing to do with that blue-red, and he kind of just flailed around with it, didn't really commit to a location for it. Yeah, that's, that's going to happen sometimes when uh, you get uh, very particular pills that aren't uh, what you're looking for, and uh, they really are uh, paralyzing some players. So, yeah, we'll see some of that flailing around, but uh, sometimes you just have to take the garbage and uh, deal with it later. Swung down to 7, DM Hero down to 18. Uh, DM Hero could very well come back. It's a rough-looking endgame. DM Hero now down to 14. Uh, blue is not something DM Hero needs. Uh, he's going to clear out that uh, left side, and he's starting to get these one pill clears. He's starting to go to town. It is eight to two. It is now seven to two as DM Hero trying to just storm back here, and he could very well do it. This is going to be close, folks. Swan Strong is going to be out at a 724, and just by two pills. And even with that misplay, it was. Two pills, three pills now, but Swang Strong wins by eight seconds. Yeah, we get our first decider on the uh, on this uh, April tournament. Uh, finally, not a not a sweep from either one of our players. So yeah, this this comes down this comes down to game number three. DM Hero ready and Swang Strong ready. Oh, he says ready soon. Excuse me. Uh, I think he just wants a moment to recover from that. Uh, but a great run. Uh, even with the missed drops, and that's, that's a great advantage that we see from Swank, is he can really just improvise how to get out of situations. And if we start seeing him in those high-level situations, the 15s to 17s out in a final situation, I think we're going to see that really shine. Uh, but for now, we, we saw a couple of misplays, and he just took them in stride and managed to maintain a lead almost wire to wire. Yeah, that's part of the strengths of Swang. Uh, he knows how to, as you say, improvise. He knows how to... Um, find other ways to clear uh, a virus. So uh, he tries to leave a clear endgame. Usually that's where he's going to need uh, to look for other other ways to play. So that's uh, that's basically what uh, what uh, makes Swang a strong player in this in this tournament. And uh, both players off to very, very fast starts. A split board for DM Hero, uh, a bit of a concentrated board. It's going to be that mid game that's going to be the interesting situation uh, for Swong as things start to get a little bit scattered out uh, the lower down the board you go. Yeah, and DM Hero not having a lot of uh, blue uh, available in the board. Uh, there's only one, uh, that one blue virus on column one, so he's not looking for any blue right now. Meanwhile, uh, Swong, um, I think that left side has those three red yellows because there was really nowhere else to play them, unless I missed uh, a misdrop that could have happened earlier. It, it may very well have been just a forced play, but uh, he has managed to open things back up. But DM Hero, even with the uh, rough shot RNG, uh, managing just a handful of a virus lead over Swong as uh, we're down to our final few viruses for both players. It looks like it's going to be a tuck commitment for DM Hero. He just needs two yellows, though, and he'll be out. It's just a matter of him getting the yellow, and there it is. He is out at a 121, and uh, if you look at Swong's board, he is by no means out of this. No, uh, I liked that strat there that he built a, a little roof on on row two to cover for that horizontal blue on, on row one. So that's a very nice strategy there from Swong to get out of there at 140. Swong taking 100 seconds to get it going here. Uh, and has a very speed-friendly board, has a lot of opportunities both vertically and horizontally to really start doing some damage to this board. Looks like he's going to commit more to the uh, vertical plays. Uh, meanwhile, looking at DM Hero's board, he is up by 10 viruses over Swang right now, uh, really looking to take the upset. You wouldn't think that uh, the higher seed would be Swang. DM Hero, a pretty uh, staunchly, uh, consistently good player. Uh, but he is in the 11 seed right now, uh, but definitely playing like he should be higher up. 
Yeah, and this month I say that most of the seats didn't really show uh, the ability of the players. It was uh, the craziest of the months, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, just uh, qualifying was hard enough for all of our players. And so uh, yeah, it's uh, it, it it numbers mean nothing at this point. And a sweet tea from Swang, but Swang really really hung up on both sides. He's got a split board and can't really do anything on either side. Uh, meanwhile, DM Hero is about to drop cross here, and he'll be out at 2 minutes and 54 seconds. Uh, absolutely blazing pace as he starts uh, his 8th level, and a, a very good 8, uh, a lot of 1-pill opportunities, and a lot of 0-1 uh, and one drop clears. Uh, looking to be a really good board for DM Hero as we uh, eclipse 3 minutes. Yeah, Swung getting stuck on that uh, column eight. Uh, I think it was a misrep very early on the on the on the board there with that uh, red blue, and that has just uh, completely stone locked that right side. And I don't think he has a really easy way of uh, of clearing it out. Although th that uh, horizontal clear, I thought was going to drop something on eight. It did not. So it looks like uh, the commitment here is, ooh, I was thinking he might have gone for the tuck double. He's not going to do it, and uh, he's going to tuck underneath out at 347. Uh, but DM Hero might not be able to be caught. At this point, DM Hero almost done with the level 8. Uh, only a single uh, single number of viruses left on, on his board. I mean... Uh, it, it's going to come down to what happens on, on level 9. And out at, hopefully, a good time here for DM Hero, as he's going to eat the drop time, but he just needs that one red. He's going to get it out at 422. Uh, Swong has 24 viruses to go to get out. Uh, and looking at DM Hero's board here, uh, a pretty good, consistent board. My concern, though, John, is is especially looking at that lower half. Um, it's going to be exclusively blue and yellow, uh, which could spell some problems later on. Yeah, if there's some kind of uh, red search in the wrong uh, moment of the board, then that could give uh, Swung a chance to try and bring it uh, much closer than it currently is. So... Maybe uh, good on the side of Swong. That's the kind of board that uh, Swong wants to, uh, his opponent to have. But uh, yeah, I, it, it's going to come down to how DM Hero approaches it. And DM Hero is just going to town on these one pill clears. We saw him uh, just get a whole bunch done. Uh, he's now at uh, 5 minutes and 20 seconds. Both players right around that time. Uh, Baker's dozen for DM Hero. And um, now down to 10. Although Swong uh, going to get to 9. Uh, but again, uh, not getting lapped. But this is some rough shot RNG. He's out uh, at a 541. Uh, but this this is pretty much uh, DM Hero all, all day, all night here. Yeah, the M hero about to post uh, a, a very uh, nice time. Uh, it's just a matter of whether the RNG will let him get on that uh, top five of uh, of this year. And it's just and one more yellow to, to see what hero time he gets. Is going to be out at a six oh six, a phenomenally fast time. Uh, he will take game number three, and he will advance to the uh, second round. Uh, where he will be playing in just a little while, if my uh, notes are correct, and they usually are, uh, he'll be taking on uh, Savage Octagon uh, in our uh, third second round match. We've got one first round match uh, for you left here, and that will be Watchma versus Flubs, the two and the five. They'll be taking each other on here. And we're just going to make this official. And add DM Hero to the next round.